What is Discord? So Discord, I don't even know how to describe it. So Discord became really popular. Discord's an app. It became really popular with gamers first. So if me and you are playing a game, um, not all games, me and you can't communicate from within the game necessarily. So it initially gained popularity because Discord has something called voice channels, where me and you can jump into a voice channel. So for example, here there are, I'm on this server of a friend of mine who's a gamer, and he has different, different voice channels, one of which is, uh, one of which is called, uh, you know, DJ, late, late night DJ, where you log in and there's just music going on there in the background. Someone's playing, He's playing, playing music. Yeah, someone's playing in the background. Uh. And multiple people can join uh, and people can just chill there. And or there are voice channels which are just blank also. This one is called Duo. There's only two people can be in this voice channel. So I can jump in, someone else can jump in and the two of us can have a conversation. So if you create a Discord server, you can assign everyone uh, privileges and roles based on which they can join different voice channels, they can join different text channels. So it became super easy to manage a community. So it became popular with gamers because when two people are playing a game, yeah. they hop on a voice channel and talk to each other while they play a game to make communication easy. But why couldn't they do it on another? What else existed at that point? You'd have to Skype call each other. This is Phone before call. Zoom. huh? Phone call each other, like from the computer, yeah. like it mm. didn't exist. Mm. Discord mm. was the quickest way for two people to just jump onto a channel. So you've used Clubhouse, right? Yeah. So you know on, how on Clubhouse you could just hop onto one, mm. one room and you instantly start talking to each other. So Discord right. was that before, much before Clubhouse. But for two people. But for many, as many people. So you can have a hundred people together. Mm. Um, and they saw, they became really popular because of this and they kept adding features. So having a, your own Discord server, mm became a thing amongst gamers. And eventually other people, other creators also started having a Discord server. So I had a Discord server for the longest time. When you uh, say you had a Discord server, you hosted it somewhere. On Discord, you can uh -huh. create your own page, hmm. so to say, which is called your server. And at some, at one point I had close to half a million people on my Discord server. So they would listen to you play a game? They wouldn't listen to me play a game. So even if I am not there, they can be part of the server and I create multiple channels. Like I'll create a channel called Meme where people post memes. Then if, if I had 500,000 people on it, I would select like 10 mods, their moderators. So game is like an anchor, not the purpose why these Not the purpose, no. The right. purpose is for communities to hang out with mm -hmm. one common purpose. So everybody who came onto my server mm -hmm. knew that Oh, we all know Tanmay and we all watch his videos. That's why we're all here. Mm. So mm. I would create channels with specific purpose. I would create one channel, which is memes about Tanmay. Right. So people would post memes there, which is specifically about me. Uh, so it's like, it's like, it's like a, a WhatsApp group. That. It's like a WhatsApp group, but with a lot more, with a lot more features. Yeah. That's where, uh, so people do all kinds of fun things on Discord. People do karaoke nights, people do whatever, uh, whatever, and, whatever and you want. And uh, Twitch, what is Twitch? So Twitch... But also tell me this, are these guys going to be the future of social media in a manner? So they already, uh, Discord is already immensely popular. Uh, it's a, again, like it's a closed network. It's not, you have to be let into a server. Like some servers are open, some servers you have to be let in. Even if you're let into the server, there are different tiers, like you can create. Like, okay, <clears> if, <throat> if I had a server, I would give you guys a badge called VIPs. Okay, so you guys can access certain areas of the server that other people can't access. So it's a it's a way to manage communities. Um, and I it's, found it very complex. It's like, very complex. That's the thing. Very mm. complex. It's very yeah. complex. Yeah. User. Like I huh. was overwhelmed by Discord to the extent. Uh, it's a very Gen Z young yeah. person thing. I like, got into it to look at NFTs and stuff. Yeah. Which is more, ah, it was just lost. So yeah. like how, do you, how do you look at NFTs on Discord? I don't know how you look at NFTs. I mean, I was following, looking at certain creators. Who talk, so about talk about NFTs. About it, and then on I'm, their channel. On their so channel in Web3, so. having a lot of folks on your server is an indication of how active your community is. So okay. when an NFT project is dropping, first they launch their own Discord server. And inside the Discord server, everyone goes logs in and then they drop all the updates inside that. It's like, mm. it's like a, almost like a gate saying if this... If you're inside the Discord server, then you're special. You'll, you'll know, you'll get to know. And could you make users? money there? Do you know how many users on Discord? Not too many, because it's a very niche community. How many? Right? No, it's not. There's millions and millions. Glo it's globally, massive. it's a good community. It's massive. It's not but small at all. In in India, I don't think yeah. beyond India also like it's the top. huge. It's massive. Um, yeah. yeah. So no, I don't see any public data around there. Just look up how many users Discord has. It's huge. It's like a... 
140 million people use. And I'm guessing mostly market. like Westerners, right? Americans and stuff. Yeah. Just, I would like, guess India India would be less than 5 million. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Pro- India, India would be less. 140 than million means, mm. yeah, I mean, if you look at any global platform, there are billions of users, right? Or Correct. A billion plus. Mm. Correct. Um, do, do people make money there? Were you making money there? No, I wasn't making it's mostly a way to manage your community. But how Discord makes money is you can do things called boost your server. Uh, you uh, can you make can, it more discoverable. Yeah, make it more discoverable. You can give uh, there are special features that you can unlock by paying Discord, etc. Mm. etc. Et and Twitch? So Twitch has an interesting story, right? So Twitch was started by Justin Khan. He's, it, it was first launched as Justin.tv, this guy mm-hmm. called Justin Khan. It was Justin.tv. And his idea was, I'm just going to broadcast my life. So it was 24-7, mm-hmm. his house mm-hmm. was being broadcast live. He started gaining some traction until eventually Justin realized that, oh, people want to watch live streaming. Live streaming is cool. Um, mm-hmm. Then he spun it off as Twitch, which was a live streaming only platform. Uh, and it was the first of its kind. So Twitch gained popularity because of it being the first player to have live streaming exclusive. It was unlike YouTube where you could host videos, Discord didn't have any of that earlier. Is, is this before Periscope and... Much before. Much before. Okay. Much before. Discord, uh, <coughs> Twitch has been around for yeah. very, very long until eventually they sold to Amazon and now uh, Twitch is owned by Amazon. And yeah. Yeah. Uh, So on Twitch... Again, it's very gamified inside. If you're watching a live streamer, every second you're watching, you get points. Mm. Um, mm. You can gift subscriptions, which is there are some features that you only get if you're a subscriber. Mm. These subscriptions are 3 to $5 or whatever it is per month. So some cool features that Twitch has is, say I'm streaming and there's a thousand people who are watching me. Anybody who has subscribed to my channel can gift anybody else who's watching my channel currently yeah. a subscription. Right. Um, then Amazon did stuff like there's Twitch, there's uh, Amazon Prime subscription, yeah. which is oh. if you have an Amazon Prime <clears throat> subscription, you automatically get subscribe subscribe to one. Uh, Why are you Twitch not streamer? spending as much time on Discord, Twitch, etc., like you are on Twitter, YouTube, Insta? So Discord is a way to manage communities and not necessarily <clears throat> build grow your distribution. Mm. Mm. It is you grow your distribution and then you bring all those people onto Discord. Much like having your own Reddit sub subreddit. Mm. Right. So people have their own subreddits as well. So I have a subreddit as well. Uh, I personally uh, I shut down my Discord server mm. uh, for many reasons. One, when you have half a million people on it, it's just a lot of people talking to each other all the time. Mm. Imagine like at any given point there were ten thousand kids who were mm. at talking to each other inside my Discord server. Like if a video dropped, then they're all talking to each other. But you don't plug in an ad in there or something. Like that. No, no. I, it's just a way to manage communities. Mm. Um, so, so how I, do they make money? Like as a service, Discord makes money. Yeah, like there are special features you can unlock by paying. Right. So it's almost freemium model in in that sense. Um, so. I don't spend as much time on Discord now. I, I spend time on it as a user. I'm part of different communities. Uh, but my own Discord server, I shut down because there's so much activity and with young people, yeah. if you just give them a free hand. And it's a closed, it's it's closed, right? Like it's not like Twitter where if you post something, mm. anybody can see it. If you post mm. something on Instagram, anybody can see it. It's mm. like a closed WhatsApp group. I think you, it's yeah. like a closed WhatsApp group. So imagine the kind of freedom people would feel mm. inside yeah. a closed mm. WhatsApp, mm. WhatsApp group. Mm. Were they abusing? Were they... All kinds of stuff. Okay. Uh, they were posting stuff that I would not want to be associated with. <laughs> they were telling each other stuff that I wouldn't want to be associated with. They were pranking each other. They were doing all kinds of things that I didn't want to. I was like, this is too scary for me. Mm. So and you like, didn't want to moderate that. I didn't want to moderate that. And I didn't trust the folks who How were moderating you moderate it. Because they're like also young. So many people, half a million people. You can't. You can't. It's very tough. Mm. And it, uh, if you get tools for it, like right. if you block out certain phrases, words, you know. You'll have to build tools for it. Right. Yeah, but if you do that kind of stuff, then then, you're un- then his you're following un- will run away. Yeah, then you're you're uncool. uncool. You're uncool. It's like yeah. core uncle chala hai Discord. Right. The whole <laughs> point of Discord is it's a closed community mm. where people can be themselves. Mm. Um, Twitch so, is different. Twitch is just a live streaming platform. But now YouTube has its own live streaming. YouTube started live streaming, mm. and YouTube is like a slow moving ship. But when they when they ship features, they're really solid. Twitch has more features than YouTube. It's still in the Western world. It's still the go-to platform. Everybody's tried a live streaming platform. Microsoft tried it with Mixer. Um, so they 
they poached a bunch of big streamers from Twitch to go on a mixer. It didn't work out. Now there's a new streaming platform called Kick that everybody's going to. Um, but YouTube streaming <clears throat> to me is 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 has the most potential because YouTube you can do mm. you can do VOD uh, and you can do live streaming at the same time. But to me, live streaming is a way to build community because mm. people get to touch and feel you in real yeah. time. People can send you a message and you can respond mm -hmm. immediately and you know it's like. Imagine if you were watching Mahabharat with your family and if your dad could <laughs> super chat mm. the Yudhishthir on, mm. on the TV, right? Like it's it's that. It's like modern day VJs, but who you can who you can touch it. It's interesting. Like. Twitch gamified the whole experience nicely. Actually, the first live that I remember as a consumer was Facebook Live as a feature. This mm. was way back in 2014. 14, yeah. Right? Or 2015, actually, sorry. Mm. Um, that was the first live. Uh, but there was no gamification, there was no subscription, there was no uh, ability to tip the creator, gift the, to the creator. I think when a mammoth company tries a feature, yeah. they don't give enough into it to make yeah, it work. That's true. Hi, I'm Nikhil. Uh, thank you for watching the podcast. Let us know who your favorite guest has been and who you'd like to watch next. Thank you.